Hey, Bestie, I'm back. Back with more tea. Back with another read. You know, it's your girl, Happy Sis Kamar. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to jump right on into it. I believe we left off on... What's that cast that we left off on? No, I didn't even check. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all, we did cancer. Okay. <laughs> Y'all see, I really don't be knowing. Um, but I was getting that Monica song, so I feel like Sagittarius, it could be love in the air, okay? It could be, you know, got some stuff. I'm also hearing good news, uh, opportunity. A good opportunity. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like a job. I'm getting, like, job vibes, okay? But y'all take it however it resonates. And uh, this is probably going to go out. Whatever, whatever, let's say your spaces get on in it. Hi, Pop, Archangel, Ancestors, God, and God says, please protect me and my bestie, Sagittarius, as we dig into this deed. We've checked out energy from any home to souls and other entities. Hi, Pop, Archangel, Ancestors, please guide us with the truth and surround us. Which, um, wait, oh, hi, Pop, Archangel, Ancestors, please. Guide us with your love and surround us with your wisdom always. Amen. Okay. So, let's jump on in it, y'all. I was thinking about giving y'all a, um, get, putting a, a, a sex read up for you guys. I probably will. Um, but I ain't really been getting a lot of sex energy. It's been just a lot of I don't know. A lot of, I'm here at Pentacles, so maybe I should do something like money. Okay, money related. I'm here money, power, and respect. Sagittarius, or maybe you just not thinking about that. But I was just doing, I was just going to do that in general. But like, maybe you guys not thinking about sex. Like, sex is not a priority for you guys. Or maybe you just like, well, tell me about my money. Okay. Um, what's the update on your money, on your finances? You could be checking in. Okay. Every so often, I'm here. But I was just saying that because I had did one over on my other channel. So I was like, well. But like I said, I did one over there. At least when I get the energy, I'll do it. Like, you know? So. I wasn't really getting that from y'all either, though. But I was just saying. I was just, it was going to be a general one. But I just feel like and overall, y'all, y'all just like, well, we, you know, that ain't the vibe right now, which. I understand. Okay. Marriage, 303. I did say love was in the air. So maybe you willing to wait with this person, okay? You love this person. You care about them. You want marriage, happiness with them. But you willing to wait for them. Oh, but the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck as well. I feel like you want to get your money together for this family. Or for your family. Stability. Yeah, look. It popped back out. Yeah. Finances. You want your finances in check. For this family, somebody here is like the man, man, or the woman, woman. Like, they don't mind working hard and providing for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm not gonna say what what I believe in a in a household is fifty fifty. But you know, you can have people where, or it's like certain roles, but it's still fifty fifty. Like. If a man pay the bills, you know, something like that, you know, it should be equal, equal, uh, collaboration all the way around the board. But I feel like you probably, you probably the one that's be like, I don't know. I want to pay all the bills. I want to make sure the house clean. I mean, ooh, the house clean. So if you're a feminine here or if you're a masculine, maybe you want to take on certain roles. Okay. You want to pay the bills. You want to make sure the house clean or you will want your feminine, um, Make sure the house clean while you pay all the bills or whatever and cook it. And, you know, want your feminine to cook and clean and fold and do laundry and stuff like that. But y'all take it however it resonate. Um, the, roles, the roles could definitely be reversed as well. Um, I'm here psychology, so maybe somebody's going back to school. Okay. Astral projector. Somebody here um, is wanting to be a psychologist. Okay. 
I feel like somebody felt weak to the knees when it came to this this love. They fell in love with, cause I'm, I'm in love with the Coco. I feel like they fell in love with. Okay, they fell in love with um. Sorry to say I was yarn. They fell in love with this this dynamic here. Having a family, having stability, having um. You know, real a um, real marriage life is what I'm getting. Somebody fell in love with that idea, and they fell weak to their knees. Like somebody could have folded under pressure when it came to this this family situation. I also feel like somebody here is lacking confidence because of their finances. Okay, they can want to start a family, and they can't, or they can want to be want to do something, and they can't. They feel like they um something's holding them back or stopping them. Every time I try to go, something keep holding me back. You know what I mean? I need you in my life. So this could have been the type of person that they could have tried to go for. Something caused something caused um Something cause you some pain, Sagittarius, when it comes to dealing with this finances and family and stuff like that. Something cause you some type of pain. I definitely feel like it was with your finances, though. Like, when it comes to... I don't think this was, like, matters of the heart kind of love. Like, maybe somebody would trade you when it comes to finances here. Or, um... You betray somebody, okay? When it comes to finances here... I feel like there's somebody you was in a commitment with, a strong connection with, okay? You was a little bit too vulnerable to this person, um, whoever this person is. And that's why things happen the way they happen. Because I did just see the Wheel of Fortune. You had to learn a lesson within this um, situation to not be so... I know it sounds bad, but not be so caring. Because you, you want to meet people that's caring, love, um, loving, and connection. But I also say lying. Because what it is, is they lie to you. They lie right to your face. People take advantage of things. And I feel like that's what happened here. So you want to you wanna, um, you wanna be that loving person, that loving man, that loving woman. But you feel like people's going to misuse you here. Yeah. You got trust issues when it comes to um, giving your money freely, okay? Because of what ha may have happened in the past, I will say that don't hold grudges on everybody, okay? But I feel like you know that already, Sagittarius. I'm not even getting that because you want to be back in the union. You want to be back in the marriage, but you just, you still... Uh, you want to be back in some type of union here, but you want to equal give and take. You want it to be fair. You want to, um, yeah. I feel like there was some type of connection where something something was brought to the air about somebody being dishonest and disconnected from the, the situation. So it's like this person, I'm hearing lustful. It's like this person here that you were dealing with, Sagittarius, they were with you because you can provide this, even in a marriage, okay, a comfortable um state of living okay maybe you always get it got this person i'm here nails done you was always getting this person nails done or you was always doing things with this person taking them out to eat okay wine and dine um liquor i'm also hearing phone sex things like that but this person kind of took advantage of that somebody here got way too comfortable but when it came down to the roles being reversed not only did they get comfortable but they was not playing their role and I feel like something could have came out about this person cheating or having an affair or doing something behind your back. I feel like this per I feel like you caught this person up because they was real sloppy. Like, this person didn't even give a fuck. you like, damn, you could at least. It's like an energy. Y'all, I'm, I'm here. You could at least change your panties. Like, and somebody here. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Somebody could have been fucking two different people at the same time or. If not the same time, then back to back. Like, well, same time speaking periodically, like, involved with two people at the same time. But I feel like maybe shit, they could have been had sex with one person, then went back and messed with the other person. Or they could have just been at the same time. I don't know what, what was really going on, but I feel like you caught somebody doing something and they was sloppy with it. Like, you like, damn, you could at least... 
you know what I'm saying? You could at least jump in the shower. You could at least... Some of y'all smelt it on this purse. You know how I've been through situations like that where a man walked through the door, smelt, got coochie on his breakfast shit. Like, girl, bro, you be... And then it make you so mad because you be like, you fuck with a dirt. Whoever you fucking with is a dirty-ass bitch. Like, bro, you... It's... Uh -uh, like, get the fuck... You might want to go back. You don't even be mad. You be like... I would laugh at a motherfucker like, mm, mm, mm. I don't know. What bitch you was eating now? That pussy is nasty, okay? <laughs> you like, you gonna tell that bitch to wash up. <laughs> like, you ain't even had all that to tell the bitch to wash up. I won't even be mad. Because I'd be like, listen, that's... You know how some females be like, oh, somebody, when they downgrade you mad? No, I'd be, I'd be like, uh, okay. Like, ew, like... Because that just goes to show how they feel about themselves, right? That just goes to show how you feel about yourself. If you mess with a female that ain't even clean themselves, can't even change their underwear, can't even have the audacity, audacity to not be over there spreading their legs and doing all this other shit, well, then it's just like, how do you feel about yourself? You must feel like you deserve a female like that, a little rat bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or a little rat nigga. You feel me? Or a, 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 just a nasty guy, like, or a nasty woman like you... You feel me? Like, somebody, I don't know. I just feel like somebody was dealing with a situation like that, whether this is a woman here and she was messing with two different people at the same time. She ain't even had Ardessi take showers. She ain't even had Ardessi change her panties. Like, she ain't even had her, She didn't even clean it up. Like, you feel me? Motherfucker did not care. Like, one nigga rolled out the bed, the other one come get laid down. Oh, God, word. But I ain't judging nobody because I don't know. Since the this could be your. But I'm just saying what it, what it, what it, what's coming out right here, and yeah, like you were like being around a guy, and he smelled like coochie, like uh, and he be like, damn, you can at least wash, wash your, uh, like, <laughs> and then that's when you be like, no, you be like no, but then and you be like. I know I'm not in the back of your mind. You make up in your mind like, no, I'm cool on you. And this could literally would have been happy, like what had happened. Maybe you say like, no, I'm cool on them. Because you feel like you deserve better. Because you know your wife. You like, nah. You know, you can stay over there and eat, you know, eat dirty coochie, okay? <laughs> That's not funny, but somebody was eating some coochie that another man had just been coming up in and all kind of shit, though. That's not funny. That's not funny. High price said that's not funny, but it's funny. But I don't know why I think it's funny. I just feel like, I don't know. That's kind of mean, but some, sometimes stuff just happens. Sometimes you got to laugh at shit. You got to laugh at people. It'll help you get by. It really will. When you just laugh. You'll be surprised what the fuck you get through when you think about shit and you laugh. You be like, damn, you just laugh. Like, mm -mm. And I feel like somebody here got caught up doing something. Somebody got caught. Like, somebody got caught. Like, you you know how you catch a motherfucker in a white lie? You be like, oh, I thought you was by your friend house. Oh, no, I was by John. I mean, I, mean, I was by... Uh, um, you know, because you know when they tell you a white lie? Oh, yo, that happened to me before. You tell a white lie, and then, and then you, and then, and then you ask the motherfucker that lie, again, or you ask, and you be like, and then you, you catch them, because then they try to tell a lie on top of a lie, and you be like, you caught them, like, in that moment, like, how you don't know what you did or where you was at or what you was going on that day? That's that day, and then you got the name and shit, like, that's that day you had on the pink panties in the room. And they like, huh? And I'm like, you came home and took a shower right away. And then it dawned on you like, you was never by your friend house. Mm -mm. And then somebody could have got mad because they're like, damn, we fucked that day. I don't know, but I feel like something here, somebody got tired of dealing with it. Whatever this is, they got tired of dealing with it. They got tired of being in this situation with this person. They got tired of being cheated on. They got tired of accidentally catching this person. Because it's coming out in the confet. It's coming out with the Seven of Swords reverse. Like they told a confession, but then it's the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Like, it wasn't that much clarity on this shit. It was like in the air. Like, you caught this person and they lied. 
You caught them and they lie. Look, what I just said. Conflict, fine, okay. You, you, I feel like somebody here is tired of dealing with somebody or tired of dealing with a situation. I feel like you or let me see, yeah, because we got the ace of cups. So, this is in the past. I feel like this is in the past. This is something that happened with somebody history, okay. So, yeah, I'm here dead and gone, and I'm like, oh, and then you know what. That's good, Sagittarius. You dead in that shit. You like, man, I'm there. That's never gonna be me again. I'm never finna. My my female ain't never finna be out doing no stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of the house and doing nothing. And then you couldn't even have our desk to clean and have nigga. I mean, I had, you know, some y'all. Cause I'm here, like somebody like you can't even have a nigga a cook. I mean, you can't even cook a nigga a meal. You can't even feed me. Boo boo boo. I'm playing all these bills. Boo, boo, boo. So you got tired of complaining. You got tired of. But this person out here creating conflict within you in your mental space as well because you know that you seeing this person cheating or you know it is what you is like your intuition telling you but somebody here was a good liar because with the strength in reverse you kept falling vulnerable to something you kept going back or you kept falling vulnerable you kept feeling like nah maybe i'm tripping nah maybe i'm it ain't what it seems it ain't what it seemed. You know how it be one of those stories when it be like, no, nah, can't be, can't be. You just keep trying to tell yourself. But it is actually what it is. And you, I feel like you started to feel like you was trapped. And you was trapping yourself up in something here. You like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm here in a sticky situation. You literally sticky, like, emphasis on the sticky. What the fuck is that, rug rats? Some with some kids. It was real messy. It was a messy situation. I feel like it was conflict. It was fighting, disagreements, all kind of shit was going on. Little literal fights though. Emphasis on the fights. Yeah, because you felt trapped. You you also felt like somebody tried to trap you too. Like once you found out, because you got the ace of cups here, so I feel like enough with the bad stuff. I do feel like something is getting better for you or you got a whole new opportunity here and with the balance at the bottom of the deck, this is what you rightfully deserve. Again, Sagittarius, this is you. You are balanced. Okay, you're going to bring balance to this relationship and I feel like that's what you're doing. You see a woman that's hard working or you see a man that's, you know, hard working. I'm here, good looking, okay? Um, Good looking man. You got your eye on him. He, he's hard working. He go to work or whatever. He may have a baby mama who was in nothing. I'm here, a slumlord. Somebody is a, or was dealing with a slumlord or something like that but uh maybe you feel like you know this guy needs a real woman you know i know how to cook i know how to clean i know how to do this and then that i can do that for him you know i i i know how to be what this man needs and for for you masculines that's dealing with a female you're like okay you know i know I see this woman for what she is, and I'm 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 scared to dip out there, whatever, because what been happening in the past. But I really like her, and I really feel like it's gonna uh, work out fine. That everything's gonna be all right. Somebody could also be in isolation, or they could just feel restricted from this new beginning. So somebody is still dealing with some stuff in the background, okay? But I do feel like this person is out of this because of what they've been through. But I feel like this person is um washing their hands with something they really is but i feel like this person is anxious and they got maybe about the stuff that went on in the past or how to do something how to move about with something because whoever they was with is y'all gotta think about it though remember i just said something about the roles the roles was not equal so somebody here is really dependent on this person like whether this person was paying all their bills and stuff like that and they got children with this person or, you know, vice versa. This could be a, a woman here and she paying all the bills and then her man don't do nothing but sit around and play the video game all day. And it's like, damn, when you gonna get out of my house? You feel me? Or this is a female, or, or this is a masculine here, 944. This is a masculine here that's dealing with a female who can't even, I, I literally heard, can't even tie her own shoes. So this is the type of bitch where um excuse my language it is what it is but this type of bitch who have her do childish shit you be like the fuck is wrong with you i'm getting like a snot i'm getting a visual of like a grown woman walking around somebody thick too somebody got a, a nice butt or maybe a nice body but they hair not combed 
Motherfucker even have a runny nose. I don't know why I'm saying a runny nose. This could literally be a child as well, but I feel like this is a grown woman. I'm seeing, like, the army fatigue green pants with the pockets on the sides. Um, and then, like, some boots. Yeah, some ankle boots, though. But, like, shoes ain't never tied or shoes ain't tied or just sloppy or I, I don't know i can't even really see the face i see like a dark skinned female somebody got long hair or they got like a nice amount of hair i'm, I'm getting like long hair though so i don't know y'all take it have it resonate um or somebody here who don't clean they don't get dressed i'm getting i'm getting like a caucasian woman that like sits on the couch all fucking day in the same spot all they do is wear sweats i'm see like gray sweatpants and like a dark blue shirt dark blue hoodie hair pent up they just sit on the fucking couch all day like they you come home from work they in the same spot food ain't cooked dishes ain't clean nothing okay and so I feel like y'all just like, damn, and it's like, what am I supposed to do with you? I'm trying to move on my life. What the fuck do I do with you? You got to go. <laughs> <coughs> Look, and that's crazy how that came out. So I do feel like you thought about this. This even gave you sleepless nights. You like, well, what am I going to do with this? Because you don't want to do them bad. Or y'all got children together and you don't want to do your kids bad. Or whatever the case may be. Y'all got some type of financial ties. Maybe this probably going to give you a hard time or... You just don't want to see nobody down bad or whatever. So you just like, what do I do? But I feel like you found out a solution. Okay, so somebody's coming to equal terms. I'm here equal give and take. Something's being balanced here. It's definitely light at the end of the tunnel. I'm here banished. Voila, magic. Voila, magic. Now let me find out your love. Somebody about to run the fuck away. I feel like somebody like, man, you can have a house, you can have a car, I'll just move out. That's your solution you came up with. I feel like for some of your, you could have told us, like, if if this is a um, female that's dealing with a mask in here, you could have told them, like, if you could be able to pay up the rent, you could keep it. Because like I said, y'all, the who y'all got your eye on, you like, shit. She, you can have this house. <laughs> you like, you can have this shit. Cause where I'm going, I ain't gonna need it anyway. I'm fuck around. We gonna mean, look, nine eleven. Oh no, not nine eleven. Nine forty seven. I thought that was nine eleven, but nine eleven. Okay, angelic assistance. Nine one one. Okay. I feel like motherfucker. Like, hey, you can have this. Cause where I'm going, I ain't gonna need it anyways. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all found the for sure commitment here. And you just like, well, I'll help you. Well, not even that I'll help you. You won't, you're not even doing it for them. You're doing it for your kids. I feel like somebody got a, a family with somebody. Now, if you don't got kids with somebody, maybe you was just trying to look out for somebody, okay, that you knew for a long time. Y'all could have had, like, a long bond or whatever. Um, uh, uh, um, okay. And so you just you you whether you guys had a bond, you guys knew each other for a long time or whatever the case may be. But I feel like somebody's like, I'm finna leave. They like, well, I'm a, I'm gonna just leave. You know, you gonna have to go get you a job. I give you a couple days. You gotta go get you a job, whatever. Hey y'all, I don't know why I'm, I'm getting diary of a mad black woman. You know when he threw her out the house and he told her like. No, he didn't even get her no money. Damn, with the three of wands. I mean, three of swords, three of wands. Oh, maybe you feel like you got to throw somebody at your house. You finna have to do that to somebody. Ooh. Some of y'all finna sell a house or y'all sold a house. You just, like, you let them live there because they didn't have nowhere else to go. But then you, like, you found out that this person was doing some... What the fuck? So this person was doing some shit in the house that you left them? Like, say, for instance, you decided to look out for somebody. And they started having other people over there. They weren't paying the bills. They was making your name look bad. And, you know, because if the house is your name, you, like, dude, like, you know... What is you over there, you know, and somebody here. I feel like you, 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 you gonna have to be like that. 
And I know that in a diary of my black woman, he did her wrong. But I'm not getting that part. I'm getting you going to have to drag a bitch out by her fucking hand on her legs like he did her. Like, literally. you going. She came home and he was packing her shit up. And she was like, ooh, all these nice clothes. She ran upstairs. She said, all these nice clothes. She thought that was her shit. She put... I'm telling y'all, and whoever y'all moving in with, you like, no, bitch, move. You got to go. I got to make room. <laughs> That's not funny. Somebody like, I got to make room. You got to go. Pack Look, he told Christina, pack her. What's her name? Christina. <laughs> he told Christina, pack her shit up. She got to go. Dang, that's bogus. I mean, I ain't getting that part, though. I know that was bogus, but this, I'm getting a whole different vibe. You gonna tell, you gonna call that moving truck. You gonna have them, hey, pack up everything up in here. Motherfucker gonna come home. Doors gonna be locked. Door, doors, locks, chains. All kind of shit. Because somebody leaving. Look. Okay, now with this high priestess here, I don't know, is this somebody you was dealing with? Uh, or you feel like it's going to be some? I feel like your intuition is telling you to leave this person. I feel like that's what's going on. No, your intuition, no, this is what's going on. Your intuition is telling you to leave this person because your intuition is also telling you that this person is funny and they doing some shit behind your back. And that's why that conflict is in your mental, your mental like that is is weighing on you at night. You like I know this motherfucker over there doing plenty shit, bro. I live, I I try to make sure they was good and they did me like this. You could have, I, and I actually dealt with situations like these with no will daddy. Um, and you be like, damn, like you know. I, I let you, you know what I'm saying? Stay. You could even let them stay with some people or let their people stay or, you know, just helping people out. I've been, I real like been there. You help people out and they still do you dirty. You like, damn, bro, I, I was looking out for you. And it's literally because, you know, they ain't got nobody else. Like, when the world daddy, when he went to jail, I knew I didn't want to be with him, but I still put money in his book because... And he ain't had nobody else to do it. And that was just me being nice. And I'm just giving an example, like, something like that. And then they turn around and take advantage of it. That's why, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what's going on here. Your intuition telling you, like, man. Well, if somebody here is being a manipulator. Oh, what's that that just flipped over? Yep, moving forward. You say, yep, I'm done. It's cool, because I'm done. Hey, <laughs> somebody could have ran into some money, too, because I was just watching Friday yesterday. I watched part two, and he was like, I know I was always the uh, Uncle Elroy. He was like, I know I was always the one talking about I love the hood. I never move out the hood. He said, but when I got my money, I was gone. <laughs> I know somebody, somebody like, I'm gone, I'm out. Ain't no ain't no more sitting around waiting on this. Oh, ooh, waiting on something. Ain't no more sitting around, you know, you know, sitting around and, and, and sitting in this loss and feeling abandoned and feeling in this regret. I'm doing something about it. I'm moving the fuck on. Yeah. I feel like somebody is... Feeling some type of way about rushing towards their opportunity they have, may have missed or things that they kind of backpedaling. They going towards everything that they feel like they deserve and everything that they um could have passed up on the road. You know how you pass by a, a gas station, a gas station, and then your car break down. You be like, damn, I could have went to the I just passed by three gas stations. It's like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person... They going back. They backpedaling, okay? They backpedaling. They like, damn, let me go back and check check this out. This was a good opportunity for me. So they could be going back to somebody that they know already, okay, with this love opportunity. Yeah, and they doing this fearlessly. Somebody here just jumping out there. They don't even give a fuck. They like, yeah, let's, I'm, I'm firm, but I feel like somebody's firm. They firm. They made their mind up. They already know what it is. It's no, it's no going back. 
they kept going back dealing with somebody and they found out that that person did not deserve them or deserve the actions that they was putting forth so now they moving forward okay this can be you or somebody else sagittarius take it however it resonates but i'm gonna put i do want to put an outcome card an outcome card for you guys i'm gonna pull it randomly what's the outcome for sagittarius the queen of cups okay if this deck is upside down yeah, the deck upside down. So, it's not the Queen of Cups in reverse, but it's the Queen of Cups. The deck was upside down. Because I'm like, that's bad. Queen of Cups in reverse, manipulate. But, but I feel like the outcome is this Queen of Cups. Somebody loving, nurturing, caring. Or this could be you. You getting back in your heart after this pain that was caused. Okay? Y'all take it. However, resonate. But that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with you. Gonna have this more, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Bye.